to feel lightheaded. <sighs> Have you ever met someone so dramatic? Today I am trying the Dermavel Plasma Pen. It claims to painlessly remove unwanted skin perfections and blemishes. Among the listed imperfections are tattoos, moles, skin tags, freckles, warts, granulation, and nevi. Although it claims to be safe and painless, I honestly do not trust myself or this pen to use on anything besides skin tags, so that's what I'll be trying it on. I go to the dermatologist to get my skin tags removed, but the Dermavel Plasma Pen claims to take the dermatologist and the cost of a visit out of the picture. Obviously, if this is something that you want to use, you should check with your doctor to make sure they think it's okay. I ran it by Dr. Karan Lal, who was skeptical but said I could try it at my own risk, only on a true skin tag. So I sent him a picture and he confirmed that what I thought was a skin tag was. The kit comes with three coarse needles, ten fine needles, and a needle guard. So the way the skin pen works at the simple level is it's basically heating the tissue. When it's heating the tissue, it's breaking down the proteins of our skin. That allows basically a wound to form. And when a wound forms, like when we cut ourselves, new skin and collagen has to regenerate. So it's inducing basically a wound formation that leads to collagen production. Since it's my first time, they suggest trying it on a fruit first. So we're gonna do some surgery on the banana. My, I have a tremor, it's not dangerous, but I have very shaky hands and I could never play operation as a kid. So we should have a really great time or you know, you should have a great time. I don't know if I'm gonna have a great time. Also, I'm planning on eating this banana later. So hopefully that's allowed. Press and hold. I don't hear noise or like sea sparks or anything. And I was expecting like something to happen, but I don't know. I'm gonna throw this needle away. Still tastes great. So I drew a circle around the skin tag so I would not lose it because it's kind of hard to see. Okay, you're supposed to use gentle strokes going back and forth. Okay, level one, holding this. Oh, I'm scared. <gasps> oh, it kind of hurts. Oh, I'm dripping in sweat. Oh my god. It's making noise. Whew. Why? Why are my eyes watering? Oh my god, I feel lightheaded. <sighs> Have you ever met someone so dramatic? Okay, we're gonna give it another go around because I think it's still there. And it, I don't know, it does sting for sure. getting the heebie-jeebies. I think I need to be done. Ow. Yeah, it definitely stings. And it looks inflamed to me. I don't honestly think it looks any different otherwise besides being inflamed. So I would not recommend the plasma pen or do-it-yourself plasma pens for at-home use or even in often use for a lot of people. So looking at the pictures and the videos before you can see a skin colored pedunculated papule, essentially what that means, you see a little skin colored, you know, little mushroom with a stalk. Um, you can see right after you treat it that there is some evidence of um, redness and crusting and that's normal because you heated that tissue. In the day after video and picture, you can see that the tissue has completely become black, meaning the tissue has coagulated. And that means that that tissue is basically undergoing necrosis. So it is impending falling off. I personally don't recommend this to be done in the office or at home. So while you may see that there are claims of the plasma pen saving you money because you can do a lot of these things at home, 
in reality, if you end up with hyperpigmentation or scarring, which is a very well-known side effect, even if it's done by an esthetician or a physician in the office, you could end up with a larger problem. I definitely do not think the plasma pen is safe.